What is going on, Fortnite gamers? RC Styles here with another week of Marvel Knight Challenges Overview. Of course, if you were living under a rock for the last couple of weeks, what I call Marvel Knight is the big epic crossover between Marvel Comics and Fortnite, where essentially Marvel has taken over Fortnite for this next season. We are into week four, but before I talk, talk about the challenges and the Wolverine challenge this week, I want to bring everybody's attention to the new Marvel limited time event. Uh, this is Marvel Standoff. This is going to be where two large teams grab powers that fall from the sky and fight to the last team standing. Respawn when eliminated until you run out of extra lives. You will get two extra lives to so make them count. The first team to run out loses. This is going to be a pretty interesting game mode and as me and Crowley found out recently, these limited time game modes are actually do boost your XP quite a bit as they help unlock potential different punch card achievements all right moving on as you can see I'm at level 122 of unlocked silver Groot I'm still continuing on that path but let's go ahead and get right into the meat and potatoes of why you're watching this video in the first place first up we got Wolverine challenges now this week I'm gonna tell you ahead of time that these challenges are going to be quite challenging compared to the others. So here we go. They want you to launch off all sentinel hands without touching the ground. This could be a real challenge considering that depending on how you land on the hands determines where direction you're getting launched off of. Glider deployment may be very pertinent that could suggest team rumble going into the actual potatoes here we done got through the meat we're gonna search chest at slurpy swamp pretty simple eliminations at weeping woods pretty simple deal damage within 10 seconds of bouncing off an umbrella at sweaty sands look depending on what game mode you're in this could be a challenge it basically determines whether or not you have any bots sharks or anything that you can deal damage to within that area it does not necessarily have to be physical players Next, we're going to destroy collector cases at the collection. The collection is one of those many places from the Marvel Universe that have appeared on Fortnite Island. That one should not be so damn hard. Hack Stark Robots at Stark Industries. Again, this is on paper a pretty simple challenge, but with everybody that's constantly landing in these areas, this could be difficult. I would advise going around the outskirts of the Stark Industry area and trying to catch one of the robots off guard. Drop them, hack them, Bob's your uncle. After that, we want to destroy gatherers. In case you don't know what gatherers are, those are those impossibly seeming, seemingly impossible to beat uh, purplish red and dark purple uh, things that pop up on the map and spawn little drones to attack you when you try attacking it or get near that can kill you we have yet to actually beat one of these things but apparently it is possible and then next it's still yet another difficult challenge in my opinion on paper deal damage with a gatherer's remains evidently that's going to be some kind of weapon that falls well that is going to do it for the week challenges also want to bring it to your attention that this saturday we have another party royale and this week is going to be Anderson Pock. I'm not familiar with Anderson Pock, but I was not familiar with Dominic Fike, and I was pleasantly surprised. So hopefully I have the same experience with this guy as well. So as I always, always, always like to end these videos, we are going to take a look at the item shop and see what stupid dances we have today. We already know about this dance. I've given it to my Deadpool. I am not going to play that for copyright reasons. Then we have Revel. My friend Trance loves using this. I don't know why. And then we have Work It, which we already have in my emotes locker. You guys have seen me do this a thousand times. But this is always funny to see a Marvel character dance around like this, like an idiot. Uh, it would be cool if Rocket would dance around too, but I think that might be us asking too much. 
Well, gamers, that's going to do it for this week's overview. As you know, I will be running a Fortnite fuckery later where we are going to be attempting to achieve some of these challenges. As well as later on tonight, I'll be joining the rest of the crew for some random gaming. And midnight Eastern, we will be launching WWE 2K Battlegrounds. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.